And what does the creature ask Frankenstein to do and why? Mr. Shane's a open-armed teacher. Sage. He just really comes to help us every day, and I appreciate his just passion for teaching. Hi, my name is Adam Shane. I'm a 12th grade English teacher over at Memorial High School. I was diagnosed with brain cancer in June of 2018. The principal here allowed me to take that whole year off. I couldn't walk. I couldn't um, write with my right hand. Basically, the right side of my body was incoordinated. I was just kind of you know, I wouldn't expect that really because you just expect your teachers just to be fine and come to school every day and just teach really. So the rehab process was retraining my brain basically to send signals to the muscles on the right side of my body. After the surgery I couldn't even sit up. Initially I was in a wheelchair and then I graduated to a standing walker and then from that I graduated to a wheeling walker. Does anybody have an answer for that? I think what this has taught me the past year of coming back to work is just to appreciate much more the support that you have. Mr. Shane's a great person and I really appreciate him and want well-being for him. The students have been very supportive. Uh, Principal Weir has been very supportive. My family and uh, tons of friends. And I'm happy to be sitting here next to Mr. Shane. If coming back to work isn't enough, you're also going for a pretty big swim next month. Yeah, yeah, the uh, Swim Across America has an uh, open water swim in Lake Houston that I'm gonna be doing a half mile for. The fundraises for MD Anderson. Um, That'll be April 18th on the Saturday, early morning. That's awesome. Well, it was nice meeting you. Thanks for sharing your story. If you want to find out more about Adam's story or his swim, you can go to abc13.com slash plus. In Memorial, I'm Chaz Miller, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.